So it's a nice day out here in San Diego. I'm gonna ride for a little bit. So I picked up some Evo Tech frame sliders. They're packaged really nicely. I got them from a &J Cycles. If you go that route, because I know there are other brand names out there for the Speed Twin, but the reason why I chose Evo Tech was because it was more towards the sportier side of things aesthetically you know whereas the other ones uh, the bars just kind of look they lean more towards the cruiser end of the spectrum so that's why i went for the evo tech they got nice large plastic bobbins or delrin or whatever they are that don't come out too far where it detracts from the look of the bike and i've had their stuff some of their other things before for my street triple so always got some really good quality stuff from them there's a lot of sand here I mean there would be because I do live near the uh, quarry so yeah I'm just going to cruise around for a little bit before I add the frame sliders I don't have a tripod quite yet so I think some of the camera angles are going to be a little a little wonky but you'll know where the bolts are it's not like you got to sit there and watch me loosen and tighten everything right as long as you know the general idea of the installation I think that'll be good enough and hopefully after I get a tripod the quality of the uh, DIY stuff or installation of things will be a lot better by comparison instead of me just holding my phone and recording that I mean that's what I've been doing uh, let me get to a straight here so I can show you what the frame sliders look like while you're sitting on the bike not that you're ever gonna look down at it but that's what it looks like Look at that view. Welcome to San Diego. This is way better than having your windows roll down. I'm going to go ahead and head down to the Coronado Beach area where it connects to Silver Strand and uh, head home. Listen, just be honest with your expectations with any sort of crash protection, frame sliders, whatever you want to call them. Because if your motorcycle is doing cartwheels after you low side or high side, it's not really going to do much. But uh, I think this is more so for low speed stuff. And if you forget to put your kickstand down or, you know, if you're going to clean your chain and you're just not paying attention and you, you drop your bike, you know, and you're trying to put it on shops or any sort of stand. up there so I can get ahead of this little pack here that right there is Hotel Del Coronado
all right so this is basically silver strand i mean once you get past the view of these dead dry grass hills you'll see sand and then you'll see beach let's get past these guys first Those cruiser riders are fucking dicks. <laughs> there you are. California coast right there. Got people windsurfing. Nice. I gotta raise the uh, brake lever on my on my controls here. It's just too low. I think it's time to go home. So you got everything unwrapped. No instructions. You're going to find that on Evo Tech's website. Just a quick download. Not a big deal. Just make sure you have all the parts on the contents uh, list. The kit contents list. 17 parts in total. You've got your two inner brackets left and right hand side. These are side specific. Not when you assemble it, but more so when you put it on the bike. You got your M12 crossbar. You've got your two large bobbin heads. You got your outer brackets, not side specific. Neither are your two bobbin spacers. Two M12 washers, two M12 cap heads. At least that's, it. that's how it's referred to in the instruction manual. You've got your two frame spacers and then your two polyurethane washers. Okay, so again, 17 pieces in total, but for whatever reason, my kit came with these no mention of these and no mention of where to put these so we'll figure that out once we get to the bike it also doesn't give you a list of torque specs or tools to use so use your best judgment regarding the torque specs as far as the tools are concerned you'll need a 10 mil x bit a t55 torx bit and then a T40. I didn't have it in a socket head, but this will work. Also, a 17 mil. That's going to be able to get you in a tight space. You'll know what I'm talking about once we get to the motorcycles. So you're going to end up with something like this. So you're going to put everything together before you even get to the bike. So you're going to start with your two bobbin heads. Take your two polyurethane washers your bobbin spacers, drop those in, take your two cap head screws, it's going to go right in there, alright so that's what it looks like before you put anything in there, if that matters to you at all. These are your two outer brackets. It's just going to sit right in there. And then now you're going to install your inner bracket. It's going to drop in like that. And then Then 
start threading in your crossbar. All right, so that's one side. Here's the other. I'm going to have to do that off camera. Maybe I can do it on camera. This is what it's going to look like. Just want to have it loosely assembled. That way, once you start mounting it onto the bike, it'll give you a little bit of flexibility, right? Okay, so remember when I mentioned that these inner brackets were side specific? See this lip? You are gonna want that lip facing towards the rear of the bike. So once you mount it up, it's gonna look like that. So that's why I said that they're side specific. Just refer to the instructions. You'll know what I'm talking about. They got pictures in there. Look, as I mentioned, they don't talk about where this goes or it's mislabeled on the instructions. It says, this is, so A through J, these parts are labeled. This is I, but there is nothing in the instructions under I, unless I missed it, but I don't think I did. I think it mislabeled this as K, maybe. And it looks like it's supposed to go in here. So yeah, we'll see. All right, T40. T40, T55, and then 17 mil. You can also see it on the other side. We're gonna loosen these two, remove this. You gotta loosen these two so you can slide this plate or this spacer behind that inner bracket. So, right back there. And now it's sitting up against the motor. Reuse the factory bolt. And the inner bracket is actually threaded. So you don't need to remove this bolt one side at a time because your engine is being held up in other places. So same time is fine. And don't forget this washer goes on the inside of this outer bracket. So it's going to face this way. And so that spacer sits right in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That's right there. It says to tighten these up before tightening this up. I ended up removing these two screws because it wouldn't let me pivot this high enough to where it wouldn't allow me to go into the threaded portion for the back bracket or the inner bracket. I don't want to cross thread it so this gave me some play. I suggest doing that. So you don't fuck your shit up.
here's what the frame sliders look like on the motorcycle. Doesn't stick out too much, which is nice. Alright, until the next one. See ya.